Hello and welcome to today's module. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Have you learned anything from all the previous modules? I'm very sure you have and you are excited and eager to begin with your broker. So have you selected a broker you like to use? Have you have you followed all the processes from last class creating a broker account? If you know your KYCs and all of that, it's very important that you do so because doing so will guide you into this class because this interface shows a broker account in this case my broker so when you created your broker account it will create a wallet for you like i said it is from that wallet that you can now begin to carry out transactions you, you, you transfer money into the wallet depending on the broker some broker uses a direct mastercard transfer or visa transfer some broker prefers to use Spreel. Some uses PayPal, and some even uses wire transfer. Any of the payment options that your broker offers is just fine. Now you can pick any currency that you like. Very sure you were you were told to do that while you were creating the account. So after picking the broker, all of these things are things you feel when creating the account. The because the after the name and everything. Be sure you use your, you use the name that. Is reflected in your document, maybe your driver's license, your international passport, or even your bank statement. Make sure what the name you're using is your accurate name, your full complete name. Don't use any nicknames, right? This is not what they use a nickname. Creating a broker account by creating a bank account. You want to be very serious with it and use your legitimate names, names that you can back up, and also use your legitimate address, the address that is tied to your statement it could be your bank statement it could be your your uh, bills anything just for them to verify your address so all right you use your right name use your right address the address that is in your backup document it could be your bank statement or your uh, utility bill statement or any, any of the document that your broker asks for for verification of address okay so you've done that the next thing that you're going to do is pick the currency that you want to be trading in it could be dollar it could be pound it could be anything you know i said the beautiful thing about this market is that you get to earn in foreign currencies like it is the beauty like that's the beauty of it all you've been able to earn in foreign currency it doesn't matter what country you live in it doesn't matter the economy of the country you are able to create your own economy and decide the currency you want to be paid in so you want to be paid in dollar, you, you select that. You want to be paid in pounds, like that. The default settings off in dollars. So you can just change that if you so wish. Well, if some people even prefer to, you know, accept their local currency. Some people say, I, I want the Nigerian Naira. I want the Za. Whatever you want, it's your decision. So you get to choose that, right? The next thing you're going to pick is the leverage. Now, what is leverage? Leverage is simply what the broker offers as a way of backup. For you to be able to trade, like I said, fifty dollars, ten dollars. They have no place in the market. Even a hundred dollars has no place in the market. But um, by virtue of the leverage, your broker is able to back up your hundred dollars or fifty dollars and make it look voluminous. It makes it look big. It makes it look you know like you're coming into the market with a substantial amount. And what are these leverages? For every every one dollar, the broker backs it up with a minimum of ten dollars. So that's the leverage. One is to ten. For every one dollar they back it up with twenty, that's the leverage. One is to twenty. There some brokers offer one is to one. That is for big organizations that are trading big funds, right? So so they do one to one. These guys could come with coming with a hundred thousand dollars, some could come with five hundred thousand dollars, some some could come with, you know, you know, a million dollars like that. They've got the money. So they don't need all the leverages. I mean, they are brokers unto themselves. So they use a one to one, one dollar for one dollar, right? Well, most retail traders don't use the one to one. Most of them use the minimum bears one to ten, one dollar for ten dollars. So if you're going to use one to ten, it means you're coming in with big money. You can't use one to ten and you're coming with hundred dollars. They will tell you that you do not have sufficient funds to trade. So you must come in with uh, you must use the leverage that your money can carry. So leverage has um, the good side. It also has the bad side. And leverage has the ups and it also has the downs. So we're going to talk about all the ups and downs of leveraging in this module. 
So one to twenty is the next one. That is for every one dollar, your broker backs it up with twenty dollars. So if you're using one to twenty, you still need to come with good amounts of money, say like you know, five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars. So if you're coming with the big guns, right? You don't really need to go packing all the leverages. But if you're coming with very little funds, then you then you want to start looking at leverages like one to one hundred. That's every one dollar. They back it up with a hundred. So say you're coming with a thousand dollars, it means that a thousand times one hundred that pretty much gives you an idea of how much the market sees that is this is how much John is trading with, or this is how much Mary is trading with. But that's not what Mary should. Mary only has a thousand dollars in her broker account. So the market sees that Mary has a thousand dollars times one hundred. Okay, while some, some people use the leverage of one to two hundred, so the higher you go. The higher the leverage is. Some brokers offer up to one to two thousand. So people who want to come in with very minimal, very, very, very minimal, uh, money, like two hundred, one hundred, and all that, they, they tend to pack it on with leverages. So I know some guys that abuse the leverage. They don't care. They're ready to blow these accounts. They just want to, they just want to So they use the leverage of one to two thousand. You fund a fifty dollar account and you throw in all the lot sizes. We're talking about lot sizes the next picture. So they throw in all the lot sizes and sometimes they get lucky and like, you know these fifty dollars they they're able to make up to five hundred dollars, up to one thousand. But that's how you hear stories of somebody taking a hundred dollars to nine thousand, taking a hundred dollars to ten thousand. They're able to do this by virtue of leverages, so right? So if you use a very big leverage, it means that you can come with a very small amount of money. Make big returns. So it's all leverage. Leverage can be can be used to your advantage, right? And it can also be abused. So that's what gives you the power as a trader. That is the beauty of being a trader. The, the, the ability to leverage. Like you're taking in a small money and you're making, like you have the potential of making large money. Okay. So choose your leverage. I use five hundred. You could you, you could choose one thousand. You could choose two hundred. You could choose three. Said these leverages can be used for good and they can be abused. So you decide how you want to use the leverage. I just told you an example of someone who used one to one thousand, funneled an account of hundred dollars, and he could just tell himself he either I blow the account or I double it. So he's throwing those big lot sizes. Sometimes he blows the account, of course, and other times he's able to flip the account and make returns. Returns, right? That's not really a very good start of trading. So you want to make sure that you put yourself in a position where you don't get carried away with all the excitement of the trading part. So I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you right, like right now, as it makes you, you get into the hands of things, this market will excite you to the point of obsession. You will think of nothing more but for it. Like that's what you think about. You're sleeping, you're thinking for it. You're walking on the street, you're thinking for it. You're, you're, you're out on a date, you're thinking for it. So you're watching, whatever it is you do, you're thinking for it. Because, I mean, get to the point where it gets so excited, it gets so easy, and then you see the money coming in. So you get to that point. Why you get to that point? Make sure your leverage is tight. And yes, you can change this leverage at any time. You can change at any time. Like you're starting with one to the power, and you're, you're going to stay there. If you get to the point where if you want to reduce it to 200, or if you want to scale it to 1,000, so you can change that at any point. So the minute you set the leverage, you, you know, fill up all the other details in terms of your income, you may just use all the, all the minimum, right? You use all the minimum. Sometimes they say, how, what's your average, what's your yearly income? You could just be you know, zero to five thousand. You don't know, like, have to be that accurate. You just put something there. Just fill all the form, fill all the form, fill all the form, fill all the form. If you have a criminal record, very fast, you have a criminal record, tell them. Hopefully, uh, a lot of you don't have to. Whatever, everything you have doesn't change anything, correct? That you have a criminal record doesn't mean you can't fix the record. But all of these are just information that your broker needs to, to set up your account. Fill up, fill out the information, be as truthful as possible, because this will be your bank account your, between you and the forex fund. So now that you have your broker account, you have the wallet, the next thing that you're going to do is to open a live account, open a demo account. Don't go open a live account. Yes, yeah. A live account means that you're ready to fund real money. Don't go fund a real money yet, right? Yes, you already have this, this, this platform. You have the wallet. You have us, your broker tells you, congratulations, you now have your account. Next thing for you to do is to fund it. 
Yeah, they want to play. They are eager for you to fund them because they know you're new and you think you think you'll be excited to want to fund. Uh, you know, and you fund, you know, you're just like somebody walking back as for the first time. There is that excitement. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to make money. I'm going to make money. Maybe they get there. Maybe they, they get lucky, like beginners love to, to make a few points. They get over excited and they're, well, you know, they're losing all their money and they get that. That hand, that addiction, is it going back again and again and again and again to the pump gambling habit? And then we also have to be in the market. These brokers know that you are new, you're fresh, you're wet behind the ears, and they're also excited for you. So they want you to give them money so that you can you know, lose your money. They want you to lose your money. Yes, that's what they want. They want you to lose your money, all right? <laughs> so they keep telling you, fund it, fund it. Don't fund it. Don't fund it yet. What you want to do, open a demo account. Open a demo account. A demo account is simply you using mm, monopoly money. Let me use that word. But you, but you're trading real market situation, real market situation, real market activity, but with fake money, with no money. So if you, if you take a trade and the trade leads into profit, but a demo account you can't enjoy it because you see somebody with, with real money will be the profit, but you won't because that's just a demo account. The demo account helps you practice. It helps you carry out assignments. Helps you begin to see okay, this works, this is work, if this is how they do this thing. So, so you want to make sure that you start with a demo account. Don't be excited, don't go funding your account because if you do, one day you will have that to so Let me just try my luck. Please don't come to this market with try a lot mentality. Don't come to try a lot here. This, like I said, because that is the beginning of what we do uh, if, if for life skill set. So don't go rushing to say, oh, no, no, look at a lot. Be very patient, take your time, start with the demo account, trade off with the demo account, see your progress with the demo account, rate your progress with the demo account, journal your progress with the demo account, and then you can take it from there. To wrap up this class, I'm going to just walk you through all of the individual times. It's just really simple. This is the New York market, the London market, the Tokyo market, the Australian market. So the London market, the New York market, is where you see all the dollars very active. The London market, what is it? The way you see the pound very active. There's always kind of all the pairs are active. But you see these two markets, they're the major traded market. Major, major, major. So when you change it up a little bit more times, you go in depth with it. So this is the Asian market, the Tokyo market. Finally, we have the Sydney market. Alright, so you've learned a lot. You see all of these things in your broker account. You, you see how you can find the wallet. See the leverage you will use, you see that you should create a demo account that's just right here. Create a demo account, choose any money, choose 5,000, 3,000, choose a dollar. And the way you, you don't take the basic, something when you create a demo account, the broker will give you 100,000, that's how they just need too much. Pick 3,000, that's just fine. Or right, pick 3,000, you need to trade like the real money, of course, it's access. Wow, you've learned quite a lot today. So, if you have any questions to ask, so if you have to, ask to you, or are you having any, any challenges of creating your WL account, send me an email winning with Forex 2.0 and I'll tell you where you can challenge me later. Wherever you want to gain, congratulations, you are progressing with Forex class. See you next time.